What's up guys, Mike here bringing you some Gotham Knights news. I know it's been a while, but with DC Fandom right around the corner, we're on the cusp of seeing new Gotham Knights gameplay. Since the event is so close, Warner Brothers Games has been sending out press kits to various outlets and influencers. <clears throat> hey guys, uh, big fan, you, uh, you got any extra ones of those? Anyways, the press kits feature a Court of Owls mask, an invitation to an event celebrating the life of Bruce Wayne, and most importantly, a copy of the Gotham Gazette. This in-universe newspaper comes packed with easter eggs and teases for the game, so let's dive in. Up first is the classified section. We see a bartender position for the Iceberg Lounge, which is a nightclub owned by Oswald Cobblepot aka The Penguin. Above that ad, we see another for a private security job. This ad mentions flightless birds and the cold, so it's probably another ad for the penguin. Safe to say he's for sure showing up in Gotham Knights. Now this next one's a big one. This quote tired of old tech ad is a direct reference to the Unsanity Collective, which is a group in Gotham that's come about in the last year or so in the comic, led by a new character called Miracle Molly. I absolutely love seeing the newer comics represented here, and it'll be interesting to see what role, if any, the Unsanity Collective plays in Gotham Knights. Of course, there's a reference to Carmine Falcone and the Falcone crime family, because why not? This animal shelter ad could be for Catwoman, but personally, I hope we get to adopt Ace the Bat Hound and they can run around our home base. This Pamela's Diner ad is most likely a reference to Pamela Isley, aka Poison Ivy. She was great in the Arkham games, so it would be cool to see a new take on her in Gotham Knights. In the letters to the editor section, we see a concerned Gothamite complaining about the riddles in the paper. Specifically, a Mr. Ingram D. Wade says the riddles are too easy. Ingram D. Wade is an anagram for Edward Nigma, aka the Riddler. Riddler has had a huge presence in every modern Batman game, so I can't wait to see what he's up to in this new iteration. Finally, we come to a giant ad requesting participants to help get over certain fears. Now this obviously sounds like Jonathan Crane, aka the Scarecrow, but if you look down below, it says reach out to Dr. Q. The only Dr. Q I can think of is Dr. Harleen Quinzel, aka Harley Quinn. It even says how patient and doctor relations must be professional, referencing how she falls in love with the Joker. So when Gotham Knights are the Scarecrow and Harley teaming up, we'll have to wait and see. That's it for today, uh, DC Fandom is just two days away, so be sure to keep up with all the latest Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League news by subscribing to the channel. Also shout out to everyone online posting their pictures, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys this Saturday. But seriously, uh, WB Games, you got like an extra one of those lying around? What's up? Hit my line. Alright, I'm just kidding. Alright, see you guys soon.